Facebook advertising. Today, I'll present what every business should be doing on Facebook right now. I'll jump straight to the conclusion and say every e-commerce business should have dynamic product ads running right now. Every other business, whether you are a B2B company or a consulting, a coach, also e-commerce should have a remarketing flow set up. What all marketers want when doing Facebook advertising is to target the right people. They want minimal maintenance on their campaigns and of course a high positive return on advertising spend. Let me ask you here how many are advertising on Facebook? That's quite a lot of you. How many of you target the right people? Have a campaign set up where you just need a minimal maintenance and still have a positive high return on advertising spend. Can I see hands? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> because today I'll go through the different audiences you can create on Facebook. And this has changed a lot past, during the past uh, years, but there's great possibilities. And another great task is to divide all these audiences into different target groups, depending on where they are in the sales funnel. And when we know where they are in the sales funnel, we can craft a message depending on how close they are to take an action. And then we'll come up with a remarketing flow and the winning strategy. Hi, I'm uh, Martin Sonnebeck. I'm a Facebook marketing specialist and I've been doing Facebook advertising for four years. I started when I worked at Facebook as an ad specialist. I helped hundreds of different companies from mostly Europe and, and Scandinavia. And what I helped them with was creating an advertising strategy and optimizing their campaigns, understanding what was working, what was not working, so they knew what to do more of because that was what was working. Now I have created an agency where we help companies get the most out of their advertising budget on Facebook. Our company is We Are Humans because we always have to remember when we target certain groups on Facebook, there's humans behind every like, every user. So keep that in mind. When it comes to Facebook advertising, finding the people that matter the most to your business it was, is what we all are aiming for. And to do so, we can use remarketing audiences. And then you'll get customers just like her who want all of the things you are offering. So Facebook remarketing has evolved during the past years. We've gone from not only website remarketing where we can target people who's been to our website to also using engagement remarketing. That's audience based on people who have engaged with your content on Facebook and Instagram. So let's look at these audiences based on user engagement. Important to mention is that when we look at this engagement audiences, we are not in the top of the funnel, but we are in the interest phase of the funnel. We've served them an ad with some content, a video, maybe, and we can create an audience based on whether they interacted with our ads. So the first engagement audiences, audience I would like to, to present to you here that you can go home and create is based on video engagement. And now we heard a lot about uh, how important video is in your marketing. And it just becomes a lot more valuable when you can create an audience based on how much time the users have spent on viewing your video. So you can, spend, you can create an audience based on the people who viewed three seconds of your video or people who have viewed 75% of your video. And if you manage to engage your audience to view 75% of your video, 
they are much more likely to take an action and go deeper into the sales funnel than the, f the people who has just viewed three seconds of your video. Another engagement remarketing audience you can create is based on your Facebook page. You can create an audience on everyone who engaged with your page or people who have visited your page or even sent a message to your page. Since Instagram got acquired by Facebook a couple of years ago, we also have the possibilities to create an audience based on the people who engage with your Instagram profile, whether they like a post, view a video, or go to your profile. Another engagement audience you can create is based on events. So for instance, if we take an event like this, we are 400 people here today, and there's also an event uh, created on Facebook. And I think it was around 800 people who shown interest or, or, or responded they are going to the event. This is a very valuable audience for uh, this conference to target you when the next event is coming. Because I hope you like to be here and that you'll come back. But even though it's just an audience of maybe 500 or 1,000 people, it's a very valuable audience. And as Facebook is, you can reach these 1,000 people for a budget of about 10 bucks. And that will give you a high return of advertising spend. Another remarketing audience you can create is based on your customer list. So if you have newsletter subscribers, you can easily just upload a CSV file, or you can even import them directly from MailChimp and upload them to Facebook, and Facebook will try to match the people from your list to users on Facebook. And that means you can use this, this audience to target your ads to, and that can be newsletter subscribers, your customers, but you can also reactivate your unsubscribers. And if you're running an email campaign with a certain message, there's even been surveys uh, saying that if someone opens your email campaign and at the same time see a Facebook ad with the same message, they're 21% more likely to convert. Again, this might be not the biggest audience may not be the biggest, maybe it's 5,000 or 10,000, depending on, on how many new, uh, subscribers you have. But again, a very valuable audience for you to use. But the best audience of them all is still the website traffic audience. So just to mention, in order to create these remarketing audiences, you need a Facebook pixel implemented on your website. And when you have that implemented, you can create your most valuable audiences from your website traffic. You can create a remarketing audience based on everybody who visits your website, no matter what page they go to. But you can also go in and create audience based on people who visit specific web pages. Let's say you are a fashion brand, one of your product categories are shoes. Then you create an audience of all the people who's been to your shoe section on your website. You create an ad with all your shoes and target it to the people who's been to your shoe website. Of course, remember to exclude the one who's just purchased. And then um, you'll see a higher click-through rate and a cheaper cost per action. Another remarketing audience is an audience based on how much time your users spend on your website. So you can take a group of people and say, from the people who's been to my website for the past 30 days, I want to target the ones spending 
the top 25% on my website. They are a lot more engaged than the people who just visit your web website and lift fast. Also, uh, other audiences you can create is people who view certain product pages, people who add to cart but do not convert. So these audience, audiences will bring you immediate value. And I'll urge you all to go home, if not today, maybe tomorrow, and create these audiences. It's my favorite audiences, and it's people who viewed 75% of your video the past seven days, your email list, people who engaged with your Facebook page the past three days, the people who visit your website for the past seven days, if they came further and even viewed your products, we can go up to 14 days. And if they even added products to the cart but did not purchase yet, we can go up to 28 days. All very valuable audiences. So that was a lot of different audiences you can create on Facebook. But we need to see it in a broader perspective and see where does this fit in our sales funnel? Because what we want to do is target the right people at the right time with the right message. So when we look at the sales funnel and top in awareness, we show video ads, canvas leads, lead ads, we have an image ad, collection ads, all these different formats we have on Facebook, and we show them to new audiences that we define ourselves by Facebook's segmentation tool. That could be uh, choosing gender, age, uh, location, and all the interests. We can also create lookalike audiences based on a source. So you could take all your customers and say, tell Facebook, create a lookalike audience based on my existing customers and Facebook will automatically find people that looks the most like your customers. This is the top of the funnel and then we show them a lot of different content and this is where the next step is where the engagement audience comes in handy. Because not all of them will click on your ad. Remember they are on Facebook to get inspired but also to see posts from friends and family. So maybe They'll just watch a video and that's all. That's why we need to create these engagement audiences based on how much time they spend on viewing your video. If they interact with your brand, if they like or comment on your posts, and also if they interact with your Instagram profile. They've shown some kind of interest. They have engaged with your content and your brand. Then we move on to the consideration phase. And here we can, we can use the website remarketing audiences. And you can create an audience of the people who haven't been to your website for 14 days and up until 180 days back. And they are considering whether they should buy your product or not. When we want them to take an action, it's our it's our best audiences, our most engaged audiences. It's the audience of the people who's been to your website for the past 14 days. They have viewed your, your product pages. They added the product to cart. Maybe they've been to your contact page, but they haven't contacted you yet. They've been to your service page, but they haven't contacted you yet. And down in loyalty, we have the audience of your customers and we want to focus on repeat purchases. So, at interest level in the sales funnel, we can use these audiences. It's possible to go uh, further back, but these, you're still top of mind. So this is the audiences you would like, you would like to, to target in at this phase. And the message here has to focus on benefits, value of buying your product or buying your services. 
nobody buys a drill because they they would like a nice drill. They buy a drill because they need to make a hole in the wall so they can hang up a nice painting and have a lovely living room. So focus on benefits, on value, on the whole image of a nice living room. And the whole goal here is to get some website traffic. They engage with your content on Facebook and Instagram. Now we want them to go to our website. And on Facebook, you can choose your ob uh, objective to get traffic and link clicks. And you can ask Facebook to optimize for landing, pu landing page views. So you get the most people to come and actually view your landing page. In the consideration phase, we have these audiences. People who've been to your website within 14 to 30 days, 30 to 90 days, 90 to 180 days. And there's a reason why I divide this into three. Because the message that you tell people when it's 14 days since they've been to your website is different than if it's 180 days ago. They might still have the need for your product, but you have to focus on something more soft. And also here, you have your customer list of your subscribers. The message again, benefits of using your product, value, value. It can be a blog post, it can be a case study, but it's all about the benefits and the value they're getting out of buying your product or your service. And the goal is to have content views so they come and visit your product pages, they add it to the cart. Maybe you have some kind of soft conversion that can be a opt in to a lead magnet, an ebook. Maybe you have a content upgrade. So you want a soft conversion where you get an email so they can be part of your email marketing. And also, you want people to contact you so you can answer all the questions they have they need uh, to know in order to, to buy something from you. Audiences in the action is the warmest audiences. They've been to your website for the past seven days, haven't converted yet. We want them to come back and make that conversion. Another audience, 7 to 14 days. People who viewed your product within the past 21 days, or maybe they've been to your service page or your cases page, but they haven't still not contacted you. And if they have added the product to your cart, maybe they've been to your contact page but haven't contacted you, yet we can go back 28 days. The message here can be buy now with some urgency, a promo code that will expire in a few days. Sign up for a free trial or contact us. And the whole goal here is add to cart, but mostly purchases and leads and people who contact you. So back to where I started. All e-commerce businesses should be running Facebook dynamic product ads. I'm sure you all been looking for a sweater online. When you came back to Facebook, you saw that exact sweater in your newsfeed. And that's a dynamic product ad. It's a setup where Facebook knows who's viewing what pages on your website and they show you an ad with that exact product. That means that it's super relevant and they're also quite far in the whole sales funnel because they've been to a product page or maybe they even added to cart. Some audiences you can create when doing dynamic product ads, 
you can create an audience of the people who added product to the cart in the past 28 days, viewed your products in the last seven days, but haven't purchased for the past seven days. A very, very good audience is the people who added products to the cart but did not purchase within the past 14 days. And this is actually taking the screenshot I took yesterday from a campaign that uh, I'm running for e-commerce business. And this is a very small audience because not that many within the past 14 days add to cart, but it's a very valuable audience. We can only spend $1.80 per day on this audience, but we want to make sure that this audience will see our products and the products that they've just been looking at on our website. So the results on a campaign like this, we've been running it for three months, is a return on advertising spend on 339 times. And you can only spend $1.80 a day because the audience is small, but that's what you get in return. So for $1.80 a day, you get a, um, a turnover of more than $600 a day. So every e-commerce should have dynamic product ads running and every company should have a customized website remarketing flow. And that is a flow based on when they visited your website for the past seven days, seven to 14 days, craft the message thinking, okay, they just been to my website within the past seven days. They haven't been back for 14 days. Now I give them another ad. So this will get, give a whole variety of different ads and you'll keep them interested. You'll keep yourself top of mind in your target group. So this is five different campaign, campaigns, five different type of content, but it's very valuable to you. If you have any questions, always feel free to, to write me an email or contact, connect on, uh, on LinkedIn. Thank you, Martin. Many thanks. So stay here to yes. uh, receive some questions. Do we have any questions from the audience? I think we have, but are you confused? <laughs> Um, for the different audiences that you've identified, is there certain types of ad types that you would recommend for different uh, goals? Yes, so video ads are always good, but when you're targeting new audiences and you are in the top of the funnel, it's very good to use videos because it's easy to consume. It's easy to understand a message. And that's what video really can do. So when they're not that far down in the sales funnel, videos are very good at convincing the audience. Hello, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, I've heard that fans are, are like the best audience to in easily uh, reach. So. Um, would you recommend the people that are you pick up on your website through Facebook Pixel or they're engaging with your page for an event or some of these other audiences running a like campaign continuously to try and get them to become a fan? In the past two years, I haven't made any like campaigns. <laughs> so that tells me a little bit about how much I how much value I think there is in, in a like campaign. Um, so I would definitely focus on, on, on getting some uh, website uh, traffic for, for sure. We when it comes to different audiences, like the website remarketing audiences is the best one. We also have the customer list of your leads and um, then you have the, the people who have viewed your videos, 75% um, of your videos, and then I would say the people who have engaged, liked, or, or commented on your post is, is not the best. <laughs> Do 
Do we have any more questions? Uh, yeah, what about yeah. budget? How would you recommend somebody getting started on a, some of these campaigns that you're talking about here? Yeah. So you can start off with as little as uh, $10 a day. And the important thing is ju just to dig in to the data and see what is working and what is not working. Because when you know what is working, you can put your budget on that specific ad set or ads. So it's a lot about testing, but try different things. And to begin with, drive traffic to your website. So you can have them in, in your remarketing uh, strategies. Yes, thank you, Martin. It was uh, thank very interesting. Cool. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Don't forget the chocolates. Thank you. Okay.